Welcome! Today I would like to show you my African violets. I wanted to say my collection of African violets, but it would be a little bit of, a, of an overstatement. They are just uh, a few plants that I have. It's very easy to fall into a trap of not paying as much attention to plants that are more common than to the unusual ones when one has plenty of different plants. And this is certainly the case with my African violets. I must say that I am neglecting them a little bit. They say that the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, so one might say that that um, unusual plants are greener than, than the common ones, or maybe more variegated than the common ones in case of, of variegated varieties. Um, I'm just kidding, but uh, the truth is that African violets are beautiful plants, and because they are so common, because they are available in every store, and at quite a cheap price, people don't really appreciate them as much as they should. I wanted to make this video a long time ago, but uh, I was always waiting till more violets, more African violets, more plants are in bloom at the same time. And once one started blooming, the other one uh, was fading. So I decided, well, I will do it right now. I don't have much space for my plants. So I put my violets outside on the front porch when it's not too sunny. And for about two weeks, they were very happy there until a squirrel realized that there are African violets there. I don't know why he just decided to uh, disturb them. I'm not sure, that not to eat them, certainly. Maybe to drink the few drops of water that were accumulated on in the dish underneath uh, one of the plants. I don't know. Anyways, one day I have found two of my rooting uh, plants. This one and this one. Let me show them to you. Uh, this one. And this one, they were just laying on the on the floor, and and uh, the plants were completely out of the pot. I hope I have saved the plant that is all on the screen now. I am not sure about this one. Maybe I should have put it back in the water and uh, try to make sure that more roots are uh, growing and then put it back in the pot. I don't know. I will have to see. This plant is a variegated variety. I have never seen it in bloom. I saw it on a picture and I bought it. I bought a rooted leaf at the same time as this one. So if it was not disturbed, if the other one was not disturbed uh, uh, by the squirrel, the other one would look about uh, the same as this one, would be about the same size. Too bad. I bought those plants at the very last moment before um, all the stores were closed and before it was uh, made impossible to buy anything anywhere. So, as I said, I didn't see those plants in bloom. I only saw them on a picture and apparently they will be beautiful. Uh, the plants that I have are quite common varieties, except for these two. This one should be a pink, 
color, a common one. I took it from, I took a leaf from a friend and I'm hoping it will grow. If it doesn't, it's uh, not a particularly difficult to find variety and I only wanted it because uh, it belonged to someone I like a lot and uh, and it was a, just a nice plant. Uh, African violets are very common plants but it doesn't mean that they are easy. They are quite moody and unlike succulents they can't be just uh, left to their own resources for a long time. They have to be watered regularly but they have to be watered just the right amount. What I do, they can't be watered from the top because the leaves will rot if the water is left on them. The leaves are very hairy and the water sticks to the, to the hair of the leaf and the drop of water stay, stays there for a long time. So if someone is watering the plants from the top, the heart of the plant might rot, or, but if the uh, heart of the plant is dry but the leaves are wet, the leaves will um, have very um, noticeable stains or will rot. They have to be watered from underneath. They have to be, uh, the, you, when you water them, you have to pour the water on the saucer in which the plant is standing and then the water will be absorbed by the soil but the excess of water have to be removed have to be has to be poured out because otherwise the roots uh, will rot and the soil also has to be very light type of soil to provide to provide um, quite a lot of air to provide the roots with quite a lot of air. It, can, it cannot be a dense uh, type of soil. So they need to be watered in a very particular way, not too little, not too much, from the bottom. One has to be very careful not to make this, the, the plant itself wet. That's one requirement that makes them quite fussy and moody. The other requirement is light. They cannot be on the south window sill because they will, the leaves will be just uh, burned by the light, by the by the sun by the by the by by the, by too much light. But if they are on the north uh, window sill, they will not be blooming. So there can't be too much light. There there can't be too little light. There has to be just the right amount of light. So that's another difficulty. The temperature in the winter time, when it's when they are kept in a colder place, not cold, cold, but in a colder place, the leaves will lose their green color. I'm not sure whether it's true for all the varieties or only for some, but I know that the variegated varieties do have more variegation when it's cold and they are, they are greener when it's warmer. And what happened to this plant, to this um, particular plant, last winter it was in quite a cold room so the leaves turned this color and then when the new leaves grew it was quite a quite nice because it looked like as if the plant was wearing a, a skirt of a pinkish color so it looked quite nice right now the the leaves that got bleached by the temperature are getting old and uh, the plant looks just normal green this is a very nice variety very deep purple color uh, my most fancy flower, except the ones that, the variegated ones that will be quite fancy as well, but 
I have never seen them bloom yet. My fanciest variety is this one here. I'm not sure whether I can see, you can see it. It was in bloom about three weeks ago. It had quite many flowers, but right now there is only one left and it's edged, it's edged with white and it looks really, really nice. I like it a lot. These two, this one and this one, are just, I think, the most common ones. But look how beautiful they are. And there is also this one in bloom, which I like a lot as well. It's very easy to propagate African violets and it's actually quite a lot of fun because uh, if you just break off one healthy leaf and you put it into a glass of water, the leaf will develop roots and a new tiny plant will grow from the spot where the roots have developed. And at that time, what I do, I put the entire leaf in a pot. I cover the roots with soil and I let the green tiny leaves uh, stick out of the soil. And at that time, I keep the pot very, very wet. I keep the soil uh, completely soaked. For about for about two three weeks and then I just start watering it the way I usually water the African violets. I hope you like my African violets. I really like them a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great afternoon.